Hi, Madison's Funniest, what's up? It is great to be here. I was almost worried I wasn't gonna make it because I just flew in from a conference on the implementation of gender neutrality in the workplace. Yeah, and uh, boy or girl are my arms tired. Yeah, that's right, I'm not afraid to open up with my best joke. Everything is on the line tonight. I'm in, a, I'm in a little bit of a situation right now. I have to find a new place to live. Yeah, my roommate's kicking me out because I caught him masturbating. And maybe that sounds like an overreaction, but I think the reason he's so mad is because I used a net. You get it? I was like, I caught you. He's like, get this thing off of me. Yeah, I, uh, I knew I was gonna get him too if I just left a pile of Playboys sitting out there in the open. It takes a master baiter to catch a master baiter. It's the moral of that joke. But I'll get down to business. I'll uh, tell you a little about myself. I'm a former teacher. No, the initial silence was the correct response. I wasn't one of those hero teachers. I was pretty bad at it. I'm just not a good authority figure. I always had a really hard time telling my students no, especially when they asked if I was looking to buy weed because I did not like lying to them. And also I was kind of relying on the discount they were willing to trade for a C minus. But uh, I have evidence that marijuana made me a better teacher. After I started smoking pot, all of my students' grades drastically improved. Yeah, their essays had been pretty hard to read before, but now I'm like, oh, I get it. Their spelling mistakes used to infuriate me, but now they're like fun word puzzles to solve. What was he going for here? I had been giving those kids a lot of Fs. Suddenly I'm giving them FOs for far out. It's the first time a student ever gave me an apple and I turned it into a pipe and got high out of it. We had a good relationship. I am, I'm recently single. My last girlfriend broke up with me because she said I'm too pretentious. Yeah, I'm a... Uh, I'm fairly certain she meant condescending. <laughs> but uh, I can be a little pretentious. One time she walked in on me and I was reading a book of existential philosophy. And yeah, she rolled her eyes and said, oh my God, are you for real? <laughs> yeah, I was like, that is what I'm trying to figure out right now. And I think that's the moment our relationship stopped being for real. But I'm dating again, but I'm off all the apps. I haven't uh, had good experiences with people I've met that way. Last time, I showed up for my date and uh, I had run out of contact lenses, so I was wearing my spectacles. <laughs> Thought maybe that would make me look smart. But the first words out of her mouth were, ew, you wear glasses? <laughs> yeah, what do you say to that? Only one I need to see. <laughs> and maybe it had been a little deceptive of me because I wasn't wearing the glasses in my profile picture but in her profile, she wasn't a huge bitch, so. I don't know, maybe we can just call it even. Anyway, you don't gotta worry about your guy, Chris Schmidt, up here. I dealt with the situation pretty well. I just took the glasses off and said, there, now we're both more attractive. <laughs> That's the one time I've ever gotten a win on a date. It felt good. But I am enjoying the freedom. I've been getting out on the road as much as I can. I love doing that, but sometimes I go through dangerous situations. One time I was on the road and I'm driving and uh, I went right through a tornado. I'm sorry, this is embarrassing. What's the bad one? Watch or warning? Warning. Warnings where they've seen it. Okay, I, uh, I have a hard time keeping those two straight because I've never lived in a mobile home. <laughs> so it's never been pertinent to my survival. But yeah, I went right through a tornado warning and it said seek shelter immediately. And I had no idea because the tone they use for severe weather is the same tone they use for an Amber Alert. So I just ignored it as you tend to do, you know? I was like, geez, who is out kidnapping kids in this weather? What a competitor. No days off. But when I thought about it, there's never gonna be an easier time than a downpour pour to lure someone into your windowless van, right? You don't even need candy when you can offer salvation. Just ask the Catholic Church. Taking them down. 
All right, this has been a lot of fun. I want to leave you with a fun fact that I just learned. I just found out that one of the most expensive liquids in the world is racehorse semen. Yeah, can you believe that? I, uh, I saw a, head, a headline that said that recently a gallon of thoroughbred sperm sold in an auction for $5 million. And I just had to laugh at that because to the untrained palate, that's going to taste exactly like Clydesdale. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Chris Schmidt.